Hi, this is Dave at Paper Trail Financial. This is going to be a short beginner's tutorial involving some of the techniques I use when I'm working at QuickBooks. Some of these techniques are keyboard shortcuts, but a few of them are also tips on managing QuickBooks windows as well. Okay, the, uh, the first keyboard shortcut I'm going to go over is Control A, which opens your chart of accounts. I use this in a couple situations. Uh, sometimes when I'm entering transactions, like here enter bills and you choose the account, I'm not sure if I need to add an account or not. Here this will show you all your open accounts, but it won't show you uh, all, all active accounts, but it won't show you accounts that are inactive. So you can add an account here at add new, but you could be adding an additional account that's already uh, existing but inactive. Uh, the way to check that, besides going to the, your chart of accounts, is going to reports here. In this case, we'll do a profit and loss. You modify it, choose advance, choose all rows. This will show you all your income and expense accounts, active and inactive. You can see all the zeros here. Some of those can be active or inactive. A faster way of doing this is if I'm here entering a transaction and I'm not sure, control A very quickly. And here's uh, the list of all your chart of accounts, including an active. Like you see one, it's an active right here, so it comes up real quickly. Um, another situation I use this in is if I want to find out an account balance real quickly for a balance sheet account. Uh, for example, you can go reports, receivables, and do the AR aging summary. And you see the 77042. Or uh, quicker is just control A and it's right there. So uh, this obviously only works for balance sheet accounts, but I use it as a reference real quickly. Just control A and bring it up. Another uh, keyboard shortcut I use uh, a great deal is control H for the history. I use it generally if I'm reconciling a bank statement, you go into the customer center here and I would, you can double click on a receipt payment, click history and you can see if it's been deposited or not, or at least QuickBooks is showing it's been deposited or not. A faster way to do that is to simply highlight a single payment and control H and you go straight to it. Another one of my uh, favorite keyboard shortcuts is control Q. Uh, that's the quick report. Uh, that is a report generally you would get when you drill down on a financial report like this. A faster way to get a list of transactions uh, for an individual account is to go control A. and then choose an account, in this case just do checking, control Q, and you automatically get a report of all the transactions in the bank account. And this works with uh, any individual account, furniture and equipment, control Q, list of transactions in that account. Another very useful keyboard shortcut is control Y. That opens up the actual debits and credits, the actual transaction, transaction information for individual transactions. So if you drill down to that information, like here we have just general transactions, we can do um, invoices or let's do a sales receipt. Just highlight anyone, control Y, and here you can see the debits and the credits here behind the transaction, in this case undeposited funds and income account. So using um, some of these keyboard shortcuts together you can see how you can save time. Control A, the account, then Control Q brings you the transactions, highlight individual transaction, Control Y brings you the debits and credits. Now there's a couple of tricks I use also in order to uh, view reports and access windows. One I've got open right now, you can see right here, 
the open windows pane right now just the home page because because I closed everything out but you can see you can access this from view open window list you see I closed it open it again I'll show you how to toggle between things here's profit and loss report I will go down to balance sheet standard as well now to go between the windows rather than have to click on them or minimize them you just can toggle between the two right here another way to view them if you want to tile horizontally so I close the home window so we have just a balance sheet and the profit and loss open here you go to window tile vertically and I know you can't see it that well because of my browser but let me but you have both reports open here and you can rearrange them as well if you want to open profit and loss and have it on the left and have your balance sheet on the right then go window tile vertically again and there they are I have a couple of additional shortcuts in the way you can manipulate dates in reports let me bring up the full profit and loss here when I'm uh, looking for a specific reporting period I really don't like to use the calendar function it takes a lot of time to go through and look for a specific date and a lot of the time this drop down here won't apply uh, a quick way to enter custom dates is to simply put the numbers in there and you don't have to worry about the zeros for months and days that are single digits uh, for example let's do May here all you have to do is do the month, period, day, period, year, and then tab, and then the same thing, and you get the updated date. Another way to quickly change the date in a report is to put your cursor anywhere in the date field, and if you want to change years, Y moves the year backwards, R moves it forwards. That's easy to remember because Y is the first letter of the word year and R is the last letter of the word year. Same thing works for month. M moves the months back, H moves the months forward, and the same for weeks. There are many more shortcuts in QuickBooks you can use to speed up your workflow. At the bottom of this uh, blog, I'll post a link to my website where you can view a larger version of this video. The page will also have a link so you can download a complete list of shortcuts for QuickBooks that you can print out for your own reference. This is Dave from Paper Trail Financial. If you need any assistance with using QuickBooks to manage your business, I can be contacted at Dave at PaperTrailFinancial.com or by the phone number listed here. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day.